Hello. Good afternoon. Am I audible now? Now I'm not having any problem. And can you listen? Okay. Lost. Okay, we were here. Share screen. Okay. Hmm. We were here, I think, in your section. The, sec uh, the sections we had selected for the gantry order, the I section, then again this uh, channel section we had selected from the table, uh, steel table as well as from IS code. Okay, so we got these properties. We were here, right? We have considered these things as much as I remember. I think we have uh, done till here. So the uh, properties we got after. After assuming a section of the ISMB 600 this much and ISMC 350 at the rate this much. Okay, so these are the properties given to you. So after that, now what we have to do is we have to calculate the moment of inertia about Z axis and about okay, this one. We have to get this. This is your section which you have uh, assumed. Okay. ISMB 600 and ISMC 300. 350, yes. 300, sorry. Correct this, okay? This is 300. Because you have a sting, 300. So. We have to calculate now the moment of inertia. Why we are calculating now this? Because we have to check the section modulus of the this built up member which we have. This one. This built up member. Okay. So what we have to do? We have to find out the section modulus. Uh, we have also calculated now after assuming a section for the entry order we will find out that for this particular sections when we are using these sections as gantry order then what happens what is our section modulus for this particular built up member and this particular after assuming the sections the section modulus which you get for this entire built up member that if it is greater than your calculated uh, section modulus that means your design is safe but if the section modulus of this particular this entire built up member is less than this which we had calculated this one this zp the calculated section of this section modulus required required is this much so 
this after assuming the sections now we are going to calculate the uh, section modulus for this particular built up member and we will see the that we are getting more or less than the required section modulus. Required section modulus we have calculated. So we will check now the section modulus of this particular member. Okay. So now to calculate that you have to know the moment of inertia about uh, z axis and about this y axis. Hmm? So for that you have to find out, you have to calculate the neutral axis that means the cg of this entire built up member this is going to act as a gain trigger to this entire i beam plus your this channel section so this you have to find out for this particular built up member you have to find out the cg of the combined member so for that now we have to find out cg how to find out your cg is given to this a1 h1 plus a2 h2 by a1 plus a2 so what is your A1 here? Okay. Okay. What is your uh, A1 here? This A1. A1 is nothing but the we are considering this to be suppose the one first member this channel section to be the second member okay so now for this ones are all the subscript ones these are the values for this i section and the two subscripts are for the channel section okay now what will happen a1 h1 we have to give the values of a1 h1 a1 we already know from here the i section a1 is this much and our a2 is this much see here so a1 we know a1 is this much 1562 a2 we know 4564 4564 now what is your your h1 okay. h1 is the distance of this as a uh, because it is one that is for the I section. So from the bottom till the that means the CG of the I section. Okay. So that will be obviously from here. If you see this is 600. This entire from here. That means this I beam from here to till here. This one. How much? 600. 600. So, this is the half. Okay, when you draw, you will get to know yourself that this is 600. So, half of this is CG. Since this is equal, I section uniform. So, it is what? 300 will divide your half of this entire I section will be 300 from the bottom. So, H1 is. 300 then we have the area a2 which we got from our this a2 we have got from our again the properties this one four five six four then we have h2 now what is the cg of this particular second uh, member which is our channel section so what will be our channel section the cg of this channel section from the bottom of the entire built up member if you consider okay so what will be that from the uh, properties we know what we know that the this one this is c c y y okay c y y is the c g of this channel section this channel section okay so the cg from the edge of this web and portion of this web is how much 22.36 centimeter that means 23.6 mm so from here from the outer edge of the channel section 
the CG is this at a distance of 23.6 mm. Okay. So now when we know from the properties that this is our CG of the channel section 23.6 mm. We need this distance from the CG of the channel section from the bottom this one. From the bottom so this distance will be how much this distance will be this 600 if we add this entire 600 plus your this 7.6 which is the thickness of the web of the channel section this if we add this two we will get the total height from the bottom till the general user guest. Meeting is locked. Okay. So we need this distance from the CG from the bottom. To the CG of the channel section. So what will happen? We can find out this distance how from the this entire depth of the built-up member is how much. This is 600. The I section depth of the I section is 600 plus our this 7.6. That means the entire depth. So now from the entire depth from this total from top to bottom, if it is um 607.6, then Minus if we do this portion, which is the CG of the channel section, 23.6 mm, what we get? We get this distance, right? So, this will be how much? This this portion will be, if I show, this will be 584. Okay. H1, this H2 is how much? 584 how 600 plus 7.6 676 sorry 607.6 this total minus our 23.6 will give us our 584 mm okay which is h2 okay and this a1 a2 again we know from the properties we already know a1 and a2 so we got what we got the y bar to be 364. Point to one which is our CG of the entire built-up member so you see this one this portion from here to till here is your CG of the entire built-up member this one This is the CG of your entire builder member. Okay. So we have got the CG. Now we can find out the moment of inertia about Z axis, about Y axis, right? So now if we calculate the moment of we, we know now, now the neutral axis is how much? This one? 364. 0.21 mm from the bottom so now we will calculate the moment of inertia about z axis for the built up section so you see here moment of inertia for the built up section about z axis about this z axis here the, this is the neutral axis which is your cg of the entire built up member okay so we will find out the moment of inertia about Z axis, which is the moment of inertia of this I section, this I section, and the channel section will have to add for the X axis, sorry, the Z axis. Then for the Y axis, again, same, we will consider this I section along Y axis and the channel section along Y axis, and then we are going to add it. Okay, and we will finally get the moment of inertia about Z axis. Now you see here. Moment of inertia about z axis is how much? 
i z1 plus a1 h1 square plus i z2 plus a2 h2 square because similar to the this in the values which you have done moment of inertia plus that a1 r1 square so here the moment of inertia is given to you for your this one i z z moment of inertia about z axis is given for the uh, i section and also i z z for the i z z for your why uh, sorry the channel section is given okay. so what we'll do moment of inertia we know it is 9 1 8 1 3 into 10 to the power 4 now what is a r square area we know again same the property which is given to us 1 5 6 2 1 area a h1 square h1 square is nothing but the distance what it was it was the distance from the cg of the member to the cg of the built up member so what will be that we are considering this first i section for the moment of inertia about z axis a area we have taken now r square r square was what r square means h1 square here in this case so that is what that is the distance between the cg this one cg of the entire built up member and the cg this one of the i section right so what it will be how you can calculate the uh, this distance from the cg of the i section to the cg of the built up member if from this entire y bar which is the cg of the uh, built up member 364.21 if we subtract these 300 this one this one then we will get this distance which is your h which is your h okay for the i section so you see here this one 364.21 minus 300 will give you the distance plus now for the channel section for this channel section what is our formula again i z z plus a 2 h 2 i z z is 310.8 into 10 to the power 4 310.8 Point eight into ten to the power four. Okay, so one more thing here. Okay, one more thing is that for the channel section, for this channel section, we are uh, when we are finding out when we are finding out the moment of inertia about this uh, z axis. Okay. But we are taking the moment of inertia of the y axis of the channel section y 310.8. Nah? And you see here it is 310.8. But this is the IYY. I, Y, Y. This is I, 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 but in place of I, Z, Z, when we are finding out the moment of inertia about Z axis, why we need to take I, Y, Y of the channel section? Because this is your channel section. Your channel section is in this way generally. So, this is your z axis and your y axis is somewhere here. Okay. So, this is a channel section where you have your this or your z axis. So this is your y axis, this is z axis. But here in this built up member, you see, in this entire built up member, this channel section is in this way. Right? So that means this portion said 
is how much? This one is your Z. This one was your Y. This one is your Z. This one is your Z. Okay. So we are calculating the moment of inertia about Z axis, this axis. So that means for this built up member, for this built up member, this is your Z axis, this green color. Hmm. So you see here now, if I show you, uh, this one for, for the entire built up member, this is your y axis, the CG, CG about z axis. So the z axis is this side here for when we are considering the channel section, your z axis along this axis we are considering, right? This axis. This z axis we are considering so for the channel section also now when we are considering the channel section along this direction only we are this direction along along this direction we are taking the moment of inertia calculating the moment of inertia so along this direction now when your this channel section is placed in this way here okay laid down in this way then what is happening in this direction it is your y axis right so we are taking the moment of inertia of the y y i y y for the channel section when we are considering the moment of inertia about when we are calculating the moment of inertia about z axis we are taking this moment of inertia of the y axis for the channel section since in this along this direction your this moment of inertia is about this y axis okay so i y y we are considering so this is i y y now a r square a we know this four five six four this one now a r square r square again it will be how much this r square is the here r square this is your channel section r square is the h square that means here so that is what distance between the cg of the entire built up member which is this green one this and the cg of the channel section and you know your cg of the channel section is this this one is your cg of the channel section 23.6 mm right so here now that means what this distance we need from here to here this distance we need for the finding out the moment of inertia about z axis for the channel section for this channel section so this distance how you can calculate this distance this is 243 okay this okay we can do one thing this is 600 from here to till here that means from this i section we have till the bottom 600 if we subtract from 600 this cg of the entire builder member what we are going to get 600 minus 364.21 Minus 364. 235.79. So this distance will become from this to this. Will become how much? 235.79. Two thirty. 
five point seven nine. Okay, two thirty five point seven nine. So when we got this, now how we'll get this distance? We need this distance from the CG of the channel section to the CG of the uh, built up member. So this distance, how we can calculate? We know this distance now. Which is uh two thirty five point seven nine. This one. Now, if we subtract, uh, sorry, if we add this two thirty five point seven nine plus our this uh, thickness of the web of the channel section seven point six, what we'll get? This plus this minus if we do this, uh, the CG from the web. How much we'll get? This distance will come out, right? So we can. Say that it is this one. If I write here from Cisco, this distance will be how much? Two, four. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. If I do like this, um, two. Three five point seven nine plus seven point six. This this minus if we do twenty three point six. We will get how much? We will get two hundred nineteen point seven nine. Okay, so this distance from here to here is two thirty five point seven nine plus seven point six minus your this CG distance from the web. So this will get your moment of inertia. Uh, sorry, other uh, this distance that is the H one square, H two square. So this is a two one nine point seven nine. So if we see, see here, this is okay. Here also, it is done in different way. So either way, you can uh, calculate whatever you want, how, however you want to calculate. I have calculated in this way so that I get this distance. Ultimately, you need a r square, r square h square, which is your this distance, distance between the CG of the entire built-up member and the CG of the channel section. You can calculate in your own way, but you must get this distance. I have calculated in this way: this plus this minus this, and we got this. Okay, another way round also you can do. So. So we have got our moment of inertia about z axis to be this much after calculating this. Now we have to calculate the moment of inertia about the y axis. So about y axis, that means this axis. This axis. This is your y-axis now. Now to calculate the moment of inertia about y-axis, we know our i y y is given to us here. This one i y y is given now again for remember for the channel section since it is placed in this way. So now our i y y is what the z axis. So i z z we are going to consider six three six two. This one two six five into ten to the power four two six five into ten to the power four. Then we have six three six two point six. This one I Z Z. Okay. So in this way we will get our moment of inertia about y axis. And for y axis we don't uh. We I have not calculated this a one h one square because this is zero y because along the y axis we have the symmetrical on the this left hand side and right hand side if you cut in this axis along 
y axis along this y axis what you will get you will get this portion is equal to this portion but only about z axis this was changing this side it is heavier this side and this side it is only the half of the i section okay so moment of inertia is calculated now you have to calculate the now we will calculate the plastic section modulus calculation of plastic section modulus the more neutral axis will divide the member into two equal areas okay which is your as area of the i section and considering ac to be the area of the channel section now if we take this equation the total area will be how much now the total area will be as obviously as plus ac where it is area of the i section and the area of the channel section so you see here as okay, i think i have the yeah i don't have the drawing here So, if I draw here, I will draw and show here, I think, for the uh, plastic section modulus. Okay. Hmm. These are your channel section and the I section. Here, this was your three hundred. C Y Y. This is your C, Y, Y. Now, this entire was 600 from here to here. If this is your center, suppose this is your center, this one is your center. Is this is how much three hundred because it was six hundred, so half of this two will be three hundred. This side also three hundred, this much. Okay, so 300, 300, we know all these things, thickness of the web, from the properties we will get, the thickness of the web, thickness of the flange, etc. we will get, okay. This is the CG of the, because since this is at an, uh, 
from this 600 it is at an equal distance half half a distance from 300 to 300 so this is your cg of the i section this is your cg of the i section now Now, you see here, here will be your, there will be some part which will be a plastic, okay. Since your uh, neutral axis will divide the member into two equal areas, you see here, now, since I drew there, I should have drawn here only, whatever. So you see here, now if you see and suppose if we consider this to be our Okay, if we consider this depth of this plastic area where your body areas are equal this distance to be dp dp suppose then what will happen you see here total area the neural axis will divide the member into two equal areas okay which is the area of the i section and the area of the channel section so the total area will be as plus ac now uh, the as Now, if you see, it is uh, both the areas are equally divided, right? The AS, the area of the channel section and the area of the I section. So, what will happen? Therefore, therefore, what will happen if you see here, this one, at the bottom area and the top area will be equate we can equate these two because since this is divided into two equal areas uh, i section and the channel section so we can see one thing your uh, there will be a plastic section modulus which will divide the area into two equal parts so uh, on the basis of plasticity so as by 2 here this bottom portion will be how much here you see this one i have drawn so the bottom portion below this axis below this the bottom portion will be how much as by 2 okay as by 2 plus this dp into tw this is your tw okay thickness of your this one is tw W is given to be your 12 mm. Okay, your TW is given to be 12 mm. So, your below this, what will be your uh, this thing bottom portion will be area of the AS, which is the bottom portion AS by 2, the area of this I section AS was the uh, yeah, this one AS was the area of the I section. So, below this will be how much area as by 2 that means this one as by 2 plus dpt dp into this tw this area area of this okay dp into this thickness is how much tw so that will be equal to you see here okay so as by 2 here plus your dp into tw Okay. This is equal to your bottom portion is equal to the up, uh, up top portion. So your top portion will be how much? This AS by 2, AS by 2 that means this minus your this DPT, DP into TW. If we do minus, this will come out plus the area of the channel section. Okay, your entire built-up member is divided into two sections which is the area top at the bottom and at the top. Okay, and this is the plastic section modulus here. Okay, so uh, this from this equation now we can get what? This was the bottom portion I so, told you. 
AS by 2 plus DP into DP into TW is this entire portion. Okay. And here above this blue color line is how much? This AS by 2, this one minus if we do this DP into TW, this area DP into TW will get this portion and then plus the area of the this channel section. Okay, so here this if you cancel out this to AS by 2, AS by 2, what we get A DP into TW is equal to minus DP TW plus AC. So from there we can calculate what is our DP. DP was the thickness of this, the plastic modulus portion. So it is 190.16 mm. So that means this is your 190. Point one six. Okay. One minute. Let me check one thing. Our next going meeting is going to start from thirteen. Okay. So DP into so from here we can get the value dp so that is 190.10 so once we get this dp the thickness of the uh, this area this area we get above and below which it is um, equal so then we can find out the plastic section modulus here plastic section modulus below the equal area ratio below this equal area ratio where it is equal as and ac so below this what will happen your plastic section modulus is given by this Z below that is the plastic section modulus below which is given by summation of A Y bar. So what is that now? You see area is how much? Below the below below is how much? This 210 this 210 into this is your 20.8 this thickness was 20.8 so this is one area a is for this particular flange what is that 210 into 20.8 okay so that is the area for this now what is the cg of this from this equal area line what is this distance this distance will be this 300, this entire 300 plus if we do this 190.10, that means we will get from this blue line till the bottom here, we will get this distance. So minus if we do half of this, half of this flange, which is 20.8 it was. So now if we, uh, obviously half of this is 10.4. So this one 10.4. This 300 plus 190.10, 190.10 minus if we do this portion, we will get this from center of this flange to the, this DP value, DP line. Okay, so we got it to be here this much. Now plus comes here below this line, below this blue line, what is that? This flange portion we have done, this one. This flange portion we have done now comes your web portion this portion so below this blue line what is your uh, web portion so the web portion will be this 300 this total 300 plus 190.10 will be your 490.16 minus if we do this 20.8 oh, okay because why we are taking the web now we have already calculated for the flange We have already calculated. Uh, I think the meeting will end now. Once the meeting ends, we will again meet in the next classes. I think already from one it is going to start. So here you see this was for the flange portion. This one now comes the web portion. This web portion from here to here. This this so this will be how much this entire thing 300 
plus 190, the total is 490.16 minus if we subtract this thickness of the flange here, 20.8, we will get this now from here till here, the web portion. So this will become your, this into, this is how much, this one we have calculated, this one. So minus, sorry, this one, this from here, blue line to till this, this one, into thickness of the web. So we got the area of this portion from here to here. Okay. So that is into TW, this one, TW is 12. Okay. So A, Y bar. Now what is your Y bar here for this particular web portion? below the dp value that is given by 490 this 490 from below this portion 300 plus 190 that is 490.16 minus if we subtract this 20.8 and the remaining portion will be this so half of this portion will be obviously the cg of this small portion for this small portion, what is your uh, CG of this small portion, this web portion? Is half of this portion? Yes or no? Half of this portion, you will get something. And then you can find out the distance between this. So, 490.16 minus 20.8 will give you your this. Divided by 2 will give you your this distance from the CG. Y bar from the CG of this small portion till the blue line. Okay, so we have got our ZP1 in this way, which is the section modulus of the, sorry, the plastic section modulus of the, uh, below the equal area ratio. Now, plastic section modulus above the equal area ratio will be how much? Above the equal area ratio, above this is this tiny uh, web portion. Then we have the flange portion and the channel section. So three, three, three parts are here above the blue line section. Okay. So that is how much. If we see here, this is area of the channel section is already known to us. This one, 4564.0 centimeter cube. Okay, so here, where I was, okay. This is the area of the channel section is known to us, 456, this one, 4564. Then comes your Y bar. Y bar is how much? The channel section we were looking up. So for channel section, Y bar will be 117. If this 600, if from this entire 600, we subtract 490, yes, this portion. If from this total 600, 